I have to make two apologies to you right away. First of all, the audio quality is not so good. I'm having a bit of a problem getting my wireless microphone to work, so we have to work with the built-in microphone, which doesn't sound as good. I'm sorry. Secondly, we have a most unpleasant subject to discuss. That's why Apple is here. So you have something pretty to look at while we're discussing this terribly unpleasant subject, but it is something that everyone who has a dog should be concerned about, and it's a little bit more prevalent among the small breeds like Cavaliers. And that is the dreaded anal glands. So, what are the anal glands? Well, the anal glands are two little sacs that lie on either side of the colon right before the anal opening. I told you this was going to be unpleasant, and it gets worse. And those glands secrete a fluid that makes what's secreted by a skunk smell like Chanel number no. five. They do serve a purpose and there's a couple of theories as to what the historic and genetic purpose is. Um, the fluid that's secreted because of the pungent smell um, a lot of people believe that this is something that was used to mark a dog's territory. And that would explain really why you see dogs smelling each other's feces all the time. However, it's also a very oily type of a secretion, and it's also believed, and it's my belief, that it aids in getting the feces to come out of the anus uh, more easily, kind of a lubrication type of thing. However, problems can arise from time to time. Cavaliers are especially susceptible to anal gland problems the ducts that come from the anal glands into the colon can become impacted or blocked. And if that's the case, the fluid inside the sacs builds up and bacteria cannot be ejected from the body. And so they can become swollen, infected, and in the most severe cases, they can become abscessed. Let's take a look at um, what this is all about. If you uh, pardon my crude attempt at artwork, but if you look over there, you'll see my rendition of the dog's rear end. Just immediately below the tail, what you see in black there um, is the anal opening. Those two red dots that you see on either side represent the area where the anal gl glands are found, but you can't see them because they're under the skin inside the body of the dog. If they become impacted, you will notice several symptoms that your dog will exhibit. Um, a lot of dogs scoot, where they use their front paws to pull them along the ground and let their, uh, let their rear end rub along the ground. They especially love to do that on carpets or anything that that can uh, scratch it. You might see your dog licking or even biting at the anal opening. You could see them having difficulty and possibly even being in pain when they defecate. And so if you see any of that, you really should consult your vet. If you catch it very early, it's not a big problem. Those glands can be expressed. Expressing the glands means that the dog gets a little bit of human help and by pressing in just the right spot, the fluid from the glands can clear out the ducts and get the excess fluid out. If you do go to your vet and your vet expresses the anal glands, you might want to bring a clothespin or a nose plug so that you don't have to smell it because it really is bad. I know some people who do it themselves. I don't. My vet actually offered a few years ago to teach me how to do it, and I kind of declined. I think it's really kind of a very delicate area. I don't want to go sticking my finger into the anal opening and pressing, and if I do it too hard or in the wrong place, I, I might cause more problems than the dog has to begin with. And it's a very simple procedure that the vet can do in a matter of a minute or so. We did have one case a few years ago where one of our dogs had an abscessed 
anal gland. Now, again, look at that picture and see where those two little red dots are. If you see your dog seeming to be in distress, especially when they are pooping, then check those spots. If you happen to see an opening, kind of like a ruptured pimple or something along those lines, on the skin, that means that the anal glands have gotten so impacted that the infection bursts through the skin and that's when it becomes something a little bit more serious. Again, it can be taken care of. Uh, in the case where our dog had an impacted anal gland, uh, the, the vet injected a antibiotic solution directly into the anal gland through the opening and then we had to give additional treatments injecting the antibiotic through that opening making sure that that opening stayed clean and didn't uh, subject the dog to any additional infection. So having your vet check the anal glands periodically, let's say every six months, uh, if you go to the vet that regularly for checkups, uh, is a very good idea. You might also wonder, is there any way to prevent this from happening in the first place? With varying degrees of success, we have given certain really natural, not medication treatments uh, to help prevent the uh, anal glands from becoming impacted. Uh, my favorite is a high fiber cereal. Um, there's a cereal called Weetabix, which is like almost all fiber. I would never dare eat it myself, but it's really great for the dogs. They like it. You mix it with a little bit of water or milk and it turns into a mush. That can be put right on top of their regular dinner and they will get a very high fiber and the fiber can help move things along through the intestines. Also a good source of fiber is um, canned pumpkin. Make sure you get unsweetened canned pumpkin. It has to be all natural. Make positively sure that it does not contain xylitol, which is an artificial sweetener, and that's deadly for dogs. So you want a natural canned pumpkin. You can add that to their food. They love it. It's very high fiber. It will also help move things along. Another thing that I've heard about, I haven't tried it myself, but some people swear on giving fish oil with the dog's meal and the fish oil would lubricate it and again help things move through the colon and out the anus the way it belongs. So may your dogs be free of anal gland problems and may you never have to smell that stuff yourself but it is really a good thing that you should be aware of. Apple? Apple? Thank you for your help.